Hey there, sir. I'm uh, Constable Miller with the Ontario Providential Police. Uh, you called our department about a requesting an officer for a stolen vehicle report? Yeah, man, my car was stolen right from my driveway. Don't know how it could have happened. I was, I was just inside and I ran in to grab one thing and then come back and my car is gone. Okay. Um. Can I get your ID real quick so I can put on the report? And. There you go, James Tucker. Alright. Appreciate it. And then, do you believe you know, or do you know, or have a idea of who stole your vehicle, or was it just a, uh... Not a clue. I, uh... I mean, no clue. I mean, I, I just got back from class. I had class until, like, about ten minutes ago. Drove home. I was gonna go out and pick up a friend. We were gonna go have some fun, and then run inside just to grab some, uh some ID and just grab some stuff that I needed and when I come out the car's gone. Okay, so your friend wasn't with you? No. No, nah, he, he lives down in, right. uh, in so Ottawa. You, oh, you're you still yet to go pick him up. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna go down to Ottawa. Um do you have any information on the car? Uh yeah, it's, color, make, model. It's a red Toyota Camry, and I have the plate right here. It's uh, R A T Y zero zero nine. What's the uh, plate again? Yeah, R A T Y zero zero nine. Uh, Miller, you want me to run that for you? Yes, if you want to mind. And that would be, and your play is R A T Y zero zero nine, correct? That's it. All right, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I, left, I went inside for two minutes and then everybody was gone. Kind of my fault though. I, I kind of left the keys and it was running. I didn't think I was gonna be that long, but when you misplace stuff and you gotta go looking for it, what can you do? Toyota Camry? Yeah. Okay. I just got it too. My buddy that I'm gonna go pick up in Ottawa. It's his. It's his car. And he just transferred ownership yep. to me. Bought it off of him. Okay. What, what's your name again, man? Uh, James Tucker. Okay. Uh, my name is A. Gonzalez. Uh, Anthony Gonzalez. Nice to meet uh, you. OPP. Just forgot to introduce myself, but I didn't want to interrupt you since you were already talked. Uh, re realistically, there, uh, sir. What's the chances of getting my car back? Um. Currently, we have a auto theft task force going on with our department, so we can get your car, uh, uh, if we do find your car, as well as we will have, a mo as well as all of our uh, constables will be on the lookout for your vehicle. If we see it, if we see the same plate, we will make sure that we get your vehicle back, and um, so... There's a chance of getting it back. I don't know a direct number or percentage of or likelihood that you get it back, but it's still there. All right. Well, like, I, I'm just. Do I go like rent a car? Do I like? Is this gonna be long term? Like, 
in, in your experience, um, when somebody reports a stolen vehicle, how long does it take for you guys to find it? Or is it so like this is actually halfway my to China by time now? Time doing oh, this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't. I personally, I don't know. Uh, my. Um, Would that guy know? Yes, the other constable here will know, or sh could know. I don't know his background with any stolen vehicles. How long do you think it, or uh, what's the likelihood do you think that he could get his, we'd find his vehicle? Uh, okay. Um, so, I mean, it all depends on how quickly we can get the, uh, the provincial theft task force to work on it. Uh, you know, they got a lot of cases all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would refer this, yeah, do you have any, like, CCTV, any? Nah, man, I ain't got nothing. No? Okay. Because well, yeah, that would definitely speed it up, but, uh, we can definitely put in the report ahead and, uh, you know, I'm assuming the car has insurance. Yeah, it's insurance. I was just asking, like, I, I, I'm debating, because I, I go to school in Ottawa, right? I go to, I go to University of Ottawa. So I need my car to get down to Ottawa and back for classes, man. Like, I I just don't know, like, do I rent a car or do I just sit here because it's going to be quick? Do I just, do I, do I buy a new car because I'm never going to get it back? Like, I'm just, I'm wondering what I'm supposed to do. So I, I didn't, I like, do you get, yeah, like... Yeah, no, 100%. I, I would recommend that you contact your uh, insurance company head down uh give them the report that we'll give you um and then what they'll do is they'll go ahead and one of their claims investigators usually calls the uh uh the detachment they confirm that the vehicle's actually reported stolen and then usually they call you back and they go about their own steps you know every company's different but um usually they usually they try to help you out with the rental i i think that that's a part of the process and then after a couple months they usually cut out a check for you for whatever value the car was dope all right well that makes sense but uh from here it looks like miller's got it so i'm gonna head and uh, head out of here unless you guys need something Oh, yeah, man. I think I'm good. Um, okay. Is well, there any inf uh, other time. information? I mean, it, next time, man. Yeah, thanks, man. I mean, it's a red Toyota Camry. Uh, I gave you a, that's that's pretty much it. it okay. There there is so a I bumper sticker your... on it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still there from when my buddy got it. I'm not too sure. But I don't know. I I, uh, I I guess I'll I have to go down to the rental place and and rent a car. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's all the information that you have, or. Uh, Best description you have the car, Toyota Camry, marker R A T Y 009. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. Yeah, uh, it's very unfortunate. Hopefully, we do find it, and um, if we do, we can give you a call. Do you have a phone number that you would like to put down? Uh, yeah, put down number uh, 8 for me. It's my, my cell number. I'll have it with me at all times. Alright. Uh, if we if we find it, we'll give you a call. And right. you can come to the station. Sounds good, bro. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, you have a better day. Alright, thanks, bud. Oh, uh, real quick. Yeah. Um... Report number should be 139. Alright, uh, if I give you my email, can you email it to me? Uh, yeah. Or I'll just send it to your phone number. Alright, that works perfect. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem.
All right, well, let's see if we get our stolen vehicle back. And here we go, let's create call number two, doing a uh, lost senior citizen with Alzheimer's. What is it, the uh, 24 7? Sound muted. Hello, sir. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, uh, we got a 911 call here uh, yeah. regarding an individual. Yeah, I'm the one who sort? called you. Yeah. yeah, you want to tell me what's going on? Yeah, so so this guy, he was dressed up in like a, a golfer, like a golf shirt and like had golf pants, you know what I'm talking about, like the khaki type pants that you wear, mm -hmm. like light colored pants, he had like yeah, a yeah. dark golf shirt on. Um, he walked in and he, he came up to the counter and asked me where he was and I said, well, sir, you're in, uh, you're in Renfrew. And he said, oh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm in Ottawa. I'm supposed to be playing a golf game in Ottawa. Where, how do I get to the golf course from here? And I said, well, you're going to have to go to Ottawa. I was like, you're in Renfrew. And he's like, well, no, I'm not. I'm in Ottawa. And I was like, well, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I asked him, like, you know, uh, if I could if I could call him a taxi or whatever. And he's like, no, nah, man, my car's just out front. There's no car out there. He came here on foot. Okay. Uh, how, how old? What the hell is that? Uh, how old would you say this guy is? Yeah, pretty old. Like, like, 80s? I don't know. He, he had, he had, a. Uh, he had like gray hair and he had like one of those like raspy old voices, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh what was he wearing again? Uh like a dark blue golf shirt and like khaki light colored pants. 
And then he walked out, but, like, my manager was calling me to the back office, and I couldn't follow him. So, like, you know. Okay. I, I think... Um, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name, my name is, uh, is John. John what? John Peters. Beater? Peter. Peter as in like no like oh, Peter Peter okay. Peter Peter like John Peter. Okay. 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 Uh, we're gonna go around look in the area for him. Uh, thank you for the report. Definitely uh, unusual for something like this to happen. Um, is there any questions for me before we go out? Nah, man. I'll, uh, is there, like, a way I could contact? Because I don't want to have to call 911 if he comes back. Do I like, call 911? Alright, well, yeah, if he, uh... Like, I don't know. Okay, um, here, here's my business card. My name is Nick Armstrong with the Ontario Police. You can call me, or you can call 911 if you see him again. Um... Armstrong, I gotta check around it. Yeah. Hey, Alright. Alright, thanks, bro. So, no further questions? Nah, right. man. If you guys want some donuts, help yourself. No, oh, we're okay. Alright. Thank right. you, though. Have a good day, sir. See ya. Alright, now let's go, uh... Make our old, uh, old gentleman... Let's, uh, let's get the cops to find him. The tragic end to Peter Peterson. Character I think I created a couple of weeks ago. He's was uh, arrested for drunk driving and uh, he's very rich so he has some very good lawyers so um, he was arrested for drunk driving and then he uh, what else did he do he uh, swung a, ba a golf club at uh, police officers uh, he, he's done uh, many many things this Pete Peterson Hello, sir, do you hear me? Let me pull up a guide. There we go. All right, now we got our medical guide up. Come on, come on. Come on, man, wake up. Gotta get the bag. Yeah, get the bag. Come on, come on, wake up. That's... Come on.
Hey. Yeah, what do we have here? Uh, uh unresponsive male. Um, I've been doing CPR on him for the past like five minutes. Uh, I'm getting no response. They just continue doing CPR. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Just continue doing CPR. I'll get an IV set up here. Uh, we want to get a monitor set up. Well. Sorry, I'm Sean. Could you continue CPR, please? Alright. Okay, you can stop compression. Miss Glick. Do you want to check for a medical bracelet? Yeah, I'll take a look. Hey, can you grab a backboard? And uh, I guess we're gonna have to carry him from here, so uh, just grab a backboard from the ambulance. Yeah, he's got a uh, medical alert banned for dementia, fall risk, and heart disease. Oh boy. Yeah, so you just gotta roll him, we'll put him on the back, boy. One, two, three. 
Wait, wait, non three we can lift. One, two, three, lift. Alright, let's get boogie. Spider in your foot. Uh, what hospital are you guys, uh, transporting him to? Uh, give us a sec, we're trying to figure out.
All right, sir, we're just going to bring you inside here, okay? All right, they'll take care of you inside. And that ends the life of Peter Peterson. <laughs>